Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We are on the fourth day of our novena in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Please stand. Lord our God, I come before you once more to offer to you my prayers. I have made my pleas to you again and again, and each moment I do, the more my faith increases that you are truly the God of life and of love. However, there are, no, are a number of times also that I fail to call on you, that I fail to love my neighbors, that I fail to keep my promises, that I fail to ask for pardon and to pardon others, that I fail to give thanks for all the blessings that come my way. And yet, in all these moments, you are ever present, O Lord, to remind me that you are just around, to take me back once more, if I will but come to you. By meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, especially in this novena in honor of the Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, may I be led to find your presence in my life, as Mother Mary found it in her own life, in every mystery of my joy, in every mystery of my sorrow, in every mystery of my glory, may I be able to recognize your hand that I may know you are indeed the Emmanuel, the God who is with us, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Joyful Mysteries, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully praised, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully praised, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <laughs> The Visitation Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
The birth of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Presentation of the Lord at the Temple Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The finding of the Lord at the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Litany in honor of Mary, our mother. 
Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, our Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Solace of migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Queen of the family, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that through the meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Extend, O Lord, to your servants your heavenly aid, that we may seek you with all our hearts and obtain what we ask. Hear, O Lord, our prayers and grant to our deceased associates the rest of heaven and to your church peace through the intercession of the glorious virgin mary and the merits of your son our lord jesus christ amen prayer to saint joseph behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the lord has set over his household the lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory he has clothed him in a splendid garment let us pray Almighty God, at the beginning of our salvation, when Mary conceived your Son and brought him forth into the world, you placed him under Joseph's watchful care. May his prayers still help your church to be an equally faithful guardian of your mysteries and a sign of Christ to mankind. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Act of Concretion My Lord Jesus Christ, True God and true man, my Father and Redeemer, I kneel in the presence of your divine majesty, overcome with grief for having offended you, my God, so deserving of all my love. I believe in you, I trust you, and trusting in your infinite mercy, 
I hope to have my sins forgiven. With the help of your divine grace, I resolve to confess my sins and to start my life anew. Chastise me in this life, O Lord, but spare me in eternity. Help me make my life a worthy oblation to atone for all my sins and the sins of all men. During this novena to Mary, your mother, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, help me to know you better, to love you more fervently, to serve you with more dedication. Grant me the grace to live and persevere in your service until death. Amen. Prayer for every day of the novena. O most clement virgin, O tenderest mother, O sweetest Mary, comforter of the afflicted and refuge of sinners, midratrix between God and men. You are Noah's ark, our salvation in the deludes of sin. You are the rainbow of peace, our reconciliation with God. You are the dove that brings us the olive branch of peace. As a token of your maternal love, you gave to the Catholic world, to your son Dominic, the most holy rosary. To this devotion, pagans were converted, heretics brought back to the twofold, enemies of the church vanquished, and Christian society reformed. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, we call on you for assistance. You alone did overcome all heresies in the world. Deliver now your Christian people from the snares of the devil. Great was your love for this nation, for when the enemies of the Catholic religion threatened to take away our faith, you saved us miraculously through your intercession and thus secured for yourself the title of Queen and Mother of the Philippines. Look down with mercy on those who are deceived by the evil one, that they may renounce their heresy and return to the unity of the Catholic truth. Illumine our rulers that under your guidance they may govern this land as worthy representatives of God. Inspire us all to study religion, to fulfill the commandments, and to receive the sacraments, which are the essentials of true Christian life. As we became Christians through our intercession, we also hope to live as such under protection. With the rosary as our anchor, we hope to reach that heavenly kingdom where for all eternity we can have you as our Queen and Christ our King. Amen. Special prayer for the fourth day, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Mother of the Philippines. In the Temple of Jerusalem, you had the first taste of martyrdom. When Simeon prophesied that your own soul, a sword, shall pierce, it was followed by the loss of Jesus, whom you found in the house of God after a three day search. Give me strength, O sorrowful mother, to bear the difficulties that go with being good Christian. Teach me to appreciate the treasure of my religion and never lose it by sin. Teach me to be poor in spirit, that I may enjoy the kingdom of heaven, the reward of your martyrdom, and of the passion of your son, Jesus. Let us now ask the particular favor we wish to obtain in this novena through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Final prayer for the everyday. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Refuge of the human race, we humbly prostrate ourselves before your throne, confident that we shall receive mercy, grace, assistance, and protection. 
not through our own inadequate merits, but solely through the great goodness of your maternal heart. May the sight of the widespread material and moral destruction, the sufferings and sorrows of countless human beings move you to compassion. O Mother of mercy, obtain for us from God and procure for us those graces which prepare, establish, and assure that peace. Queen of peace, pray for us and give to the world and to the Philippines the peace for which we are all longing, the peace in the truth, justice, and charity of Christ. Lastly, O Queen of Heaven, as the Church and the entire human race are consecrated to the sacred heart of Jesus, so that in reposing all hope in Him, He might become for them the pledge of victory and salvation. So we, in like manner, consecrate ourselves to you, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. You have chosen to raise your throne of mercy in Manawag, to be the beloved protectress and patroness of the province of Pangasinan, and from there to bestow your graces on us, your children, banished in this valley of tears. Look down with your eyes of mercy upon us, or beset with so many dangers of body and soul. Despise not our petitions, O dearest Mother, but intercede for us before your Divine Son, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Peace stand.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this Nubina Mass, we first acknowledge our shortcomings, our infidelities, our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, in your mysterious wisdom, you fill out the passion of Christ through the suffering that his members endure in the many trials of this life. As you cho choose to have the mournful mother stand by your son in his agony on the cross, grant that we too may bring love and comfort to our brothers and sisters in distress. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? God, who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, how will God not also give us everything else along with his son? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us, who will condemn. It is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us 
from the love of Christ with anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword as it is written for your sake we are being slain all the day we are looked upon as sheep to be slaughtered no in all these things we concur overwhelmingly to christ jesus who loved us for i am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor present things nor future things nor powers nor height nor depth nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of god in christ jesus our lord the word of the lord thanks be to god I love you, Lord, my strength, Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock of refuge, my shield, my saving horn, my stronghold. In my the breakers of death surge around about me the menacing floods terrified me the cords of shawl lightened the snares of death lay in wait for me in my distress, my distress i called out lord I crowd out to my God from his temple. He heard my voice, my cry to him, reach his ears. In my distress, I call upon the Lord. They attacked me on a day of distress, but the Lord came to my support. He set me free in the open. He rescued me because he loves me. In my distress, I call upon the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus, where his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved, standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold 
your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I have a question. Pagtanda ninyo, pa yung mga may edad na sa atin dito, saan nyo gustong tumanda? Sa isang nursing home, home for the aged, kompleto, malapit ang nurse, malapit sa ospital, or would you like to grow old in the context of your family? Apa minsan-minsan, maaaring makalimutan painumin ng gamot, minsan nakakalimutan na alagaan. Nursing home, by the clock, available lagi yung mga nurses or caregiver. Sa pamilya, andun din naman, pero may mga pagkakataon na nakakalimutan. Saan nyo gustong tumanda? Alam niyo po tayo mga Pilipino, ang isa sa mga hindi nagpo-flourish na negosyo rito o institusyon dito ay yung home for the aged. Dangan nga po kasi kapag nakita tuma yung tumatandang mga magulang o tumatandang mga kapatid ay walang nag-aalaga, ang kadalasang sinasabi natin, Nasaan yung mga walang utang na loob na anak ng mga to? We have heard so many stories of uh, migrants, Filipino migrants, na nakapag-abroad na ang iniisip lang naman nila yung kapakanan ng kanilang magulang na kapag ka nasettle na sila doon sa, sa, sa ibang bansa and they saw the, the system of taking care for the elderly Ang laging pumapasok sa isip nila ay dalhin yung mga magulang at ilagay doon sa home for the aged. Alam niyo po marami ng mga bumalik na mga matatanda sa Pilipinas sapagat what they say is that I have all the amenities but I am not in the middle of my family. They return to the Philippines sometimes alone. Sometimes meron caregiver, but they would rather stay with their own families here. I remember that because of the last sentence in our gospel. Kung natatandaan nyo yung huling uh, sentence ng Ibanghelyo, and from that hour, the disciple took her, Mary, into his home. Took care for her. To look after her needs. Some time ago, I was approached by a group, foreign group, to conduct a study of whether it's possible for them to bring the Western care for the aged sa Pilipinas at sa mga neighboring countries. It was a multinational company, and then when I presented about the cultural aspect of taking care of the old, about how we prefer that we take care of our elderly, and it is part and parcel of our culture, they did not, not anymore bring the Western way of taking care for the elderly sa ating bayan at sa mga karatig nating bansa. Again, I remember that because again of the last sentence in our gospel. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Iba, sa kultura natin, sa pamilya tayo pinanganak, sa pamilya tayo lumaki, sa pamilya tayo dinisiplina, sa pamilya tayo minahal, itinakwil, tinanggap uli, 
inadapa, binuhat, lahat-lahat hanggang sa pagtanda at kaya nga naman kadalasan lalong-lalo na sa mga probinsya pati yung burol ay nasa bahay, sa pamilya pa rin at hanggang sa huling hantungan pamilya pa rin ang kasamang naglalakad hanggang sa libingan. It's always in the context of the family. We take care of our elderly. Again, I remember that because of the last sentence in our gospel. And from that hour, the disciple took her, took good care of her, nurtured her, looked after Mary's needs, and he took her into his home. Kami rin po, na mga Dominicano, we continue to resist the temptation to gather all our elderly into one uh, home for the aged. What we do is we distribute our lolos. These were rectors, priors, professors, and the olden times. Now, after serving the province, the Dominican province, a time na para magpahinga, retired. No? We resist the thought of bringing them and gathering them into one home for the aged. What we do is to divide the lolos in our own different communities. Dito po sa Manawag, marami kaming lolo dito. Sakitin na yung marami, but we look after them. Sa UST, ganun din. Sa Santo Domingo, ganun din. Sa mga kumbento namin, sa Latran, Intramuros, ganun din po. Sometimes, uh, because of aging, mahirap na maunawaan. But that's part and parcel of that. But more importantly, when they are with us, we connect something of the past to the present and to the future. Yung pagkakaugnay-ugnay, yung kwento, and more importantly, it's a family. Pamilya. Again, it tells us that taking care of our elderly is not just simply a cultural thing. It is not simply a cultural obligation. It is something divine. It is something at the heart of Jesus and something that is at the heart of Mary. Nakakatuwa ang makita that even in her old age or in the time of uh, suffering, somebody also took care of Mary. Di ba? When you come here, what do you do? We always ask her intercession. We always ask her to pray for us. But remember, Mary was also taken care of by the beloved disciple. Dear friends, as we celebrate the Numenario, we look around us, especially in our homes, but with a very particular eye, we look at how we take good care of our elderly. On the practical note, on the practical side, lahat naman tayo tatanda. One time, I remember very much, and one of my lolo, uh, I inihanda namin yung room niya, may baser na, and then we look after him, and then pagtalikod ko, I heard him say, Sana, pag tumanda ka rin, meron ding mag-aalaga ng tulad ng ganito sa iyo. Iba ang ganda marinig yun. So my dear friends, Mary needed care. And the beloved disciple took her into his home to nurture her, to look after her, to take care of her. Paano nga ba natin inaalagaan ang mga nakatatanda, ang mga senior citizens, ang mga lolo at lola natin sa ating bansa?
Ah, hindi ko astan. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal word, make your church of one mind and one heart in love, and help all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, Mother of Unity, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace, grant to all men and women who have seen, who have been called to serve your people, the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your peace and justice in their vocation of wholehearted service, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the mother of mercy. May all who are faced with trials feel her motherly love and care, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You gave Mary strength at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection of your Son. Lighten the hardships of those who are burdened and deepen their sense of hope, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. King of kings, you lifted up your mother, body and soul into heaven. Help us to fix our thoughts on things above, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For those who are affected and afflicted by COVID-19, especially our health care providers and frontliners, the sick, and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the Lord, the government and private agencies swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. We also pray in a very special way for all the elderly, our lolos and lolas. May they be taken care of. May like in the gospel, may somebody bring them to their home and take care of them. We pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, O Lord. Lord God, give to your people the joy of continual health in mind and body with the prayers of the Virgin Mary to help us guide us through the sorrows of this life to eternal happiness in the life to come. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, graciously receive the offerings of your family and make them the sacrament of redemption, which Mary faithfully served at the altar of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. In your name, in your divine wisdom, you planned the redemption of the human race and decreed that the new Eve should stand by the cross of the new Adam as she became his mother by the power of the Holy Spirit. So, by a new gift of your love, she was to be a partner in his passion, and she who had given him birth without pains of childbirth was to endure the greatest of pains in bringing forth to new life the family of your church. Now with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. May call it therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Peace. 
easy stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, we have received the pledge of salvation and now we offer this prayer. Grant that the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, poured out upon your church may descend in power on all peoples whom Christ the High Priest claims as a reward of the sacrifice he offered on the cross. In the presence of his sorrowing mother, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Announcement. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The schedule of the Masses on that day will be the following, 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and High Mass at 4 p.m. to be presided by His Excellency Socrates B. Villegas, D.D., Archbishop of Lingayan Dagupan, and to be followed by sending off of the pilgrim image to all the streets of the Poblacion of Banawag. Please light a candle outside your homes as the image of the Apo Bakat passes by. It will be concluded with the closing ceremony. See you all here or join us live stream via Facebook, YouTube, and Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. Word of Thanks The Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag would like to thank Reverend Father Stephen Redilius Opi for presiding over the Novena Mass. We would also like to thank the Word Proclaimers, Eucharistic Ministers, Knights of the Altar, BEC Choir, and the ushers for actively participating in the Eucharistic celebration and being one in honoring the Blessed Mother. And finally, we thank you, our dear pilgrims and sponsors of this Mass. May the care and the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Anawag, bring us closer to her Son, Jesus Christ. Please stand. Isa pa po sa October 2, ilo-launch po natin yung mga songs sa Misa na nakadedicate ki Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Uh, yung mga awitin sa, uh, sa Misa na ginagamit natin, Lord of Mercy, Papuri, Santo, Lamb of God, and then Our Father, we commissioned Father Jepoy R.C. Walls, O.P., our uh, Dominican brother and composer and the musician uh, to uh, write songs that when you hear it, you will easily recognize that it's from, uh, it's for Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and it's sung here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. October 2 po, uh, 30 to 45 minutes lang naman po yung virtual concert po na yun. You can look it up sa Facebook account po namin and then sa website, uh, we invite you also to be there. Uh, another thing po, uh, during that concert, we will be launching po the preparation, the activities for the preparation po ng 100 years ng canonical coronation ni Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. It will still be in 2026, but it's never too early to celebrate something so beautiful that has touched the lives of the Filipinos, of the devotees, for almost 100 years. So nakalinya po doon yung mga activities natin sa loob ng limang taon so that pagdating ng 2026, we will have a more meaningful uh, celebration of her canonical coronation. Lastly, maraming salamat po sa pakikisa ninyo sa Banal na Misa. I know you are very much challenged in your situation for the pilgrims who have come here. I know it's difficult for you to travel, but yet you are still here. For those who are joining us in their homes uh, through live stream, maraming maraming salamat po at makakaasa kayo ng patuloy na panalangin ng komunidad ng mga Dominicano dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawa. We also encourage you that we continue to pray for one another, especially in these most challenging times. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for the blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and ever wear the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord to one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng inyong religious articles and then first the blessing of the sick. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We bless your religious articles in memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.